Hi everyone, today I will explain a simple way to identify the visible and hidden edges during the orthographic projection of solids. I will explain with reference to a pentagonal pyramid. In this example, the pentagonal pyramid is resting on one of its base edges with its axis inclined 50 degree to HP and the base edge on HP inclined 35 degree to VP. So I have drawn the initial part of the projection. Uh, initially, I kept the pentagonal pyramid on HP. So top view, we got a pentagon and then corresponding front view. Now, when one base edge is resting on HP, so you have tilted it on this base edge CD and now the axis is making 50 degree with HP. Now I have drawn the projections, vertical projection lines I have drawn. From here I have drawn all the horizontal projection lines and located the various points. So here you have A, B, C, D, E that corresponds to the corners of the base and apex O and the base end of the axis O1. Now the question is how to join these points which are the visible edges and which are the hidden edges. Often students will get confused with the visible and hidden edges. So here I will explain a simple way to draw these lines without actually imagining the solid. So no need of imagining the solid. So whatever set of procedures which I give, you can easily follow it and complete the projection of the solid. So what I do is uh, assume this particular area after getting these points. Now first step is to join all the outline with the visible lines. Outline means all the extreme outer edges. So without leaving any points, if you connect the outline, so you can take the visible line from here I'll start uh, from A to B. Now I cannot draw it like this. A, a BO. BO is a slant edge. I will not connect it like this because C will be outside. So I need to draw BC. BC is one of the base edge. And if if this is if C is inside, you can draw this. If C is somewhere here, this will become outline edge. But now this is not the boundary edge or outline edge. So you need to connect to C, then connect to O. So this is your boundary. And you you cannot straight draw like this, similar to this. This D will be outside. So you need to connect to D and then to E. So I completed the outline. So this is a procedure for any solid. While projecting a top view or front view of any solid, all the outline edges will be visible. All the outline edges you can complete by visible edges. Now you have to draw the remaining edges. So here this is a top view. So when you look from the top, the base is not visible. I mean the bottom surface of the base is not visible when you look from the top. Some of the edges may be visible, but the base is not visible when you look from the top. Because to draw the top view, the observer is looking from the top. Okay, so when you look from here, the base is not visible. Few base edges may be visible. Okay, so base is not visible. The bottom part of the base is not visible. So you should conclude that base is not visible. So when base is not visible, you look at the base. A, B, C, D is a base. But certain edges have come as a part of outline. Okay, this A, B, A, E, E, D and B, C all part of outline. So this pentagonal pyramid has only one edge left. So when base is not visible, the remaining edge leaving the lines which are coming on the boundary. So those edges will be always visible. This boundary edges will be visible. The remaining edge you have to make it dotted. So you can make this dotted. It is hidden edge. So that you can make it dotted. And I will use a dotted line for this. I will connect this by a dotted line. So you have completed the base. Now you are left with the uh, slant edges. Slant edges. There are five slant edges for the solid. So, but out of the five slant edges, which are the slant edges? AO, BO, CO, DO, and EO. But CO and DO has come as part of outline. So we need not worry about these edges. But remaining slant edges. Remaining slant edges you need to drop. Only two edges have come as part of outline. 
okay so that you leave it as such but think of the remaining edges sometimes you may get a corner here if it's an external pyramid definitely you will have a corner here okay another point here and there from there also you will have a slant edge okay another slant edge slant edge means incline edge so if any slant edge starts from inside when base is hidden when base is hidden any slant edge starting from inside will be hidden but here no such slant edges so no hidden slant edge which are starting from inside there is no uh, slant edge starting from inside the boundary this is boundary from inside boundary there is no slant edge starting all slant edges are uh, joining to the uh, boundary corners so any interior slant edge which is starting from inside will be dotted when base is hidden so in such case the slant edge from outline uh, from these corners will be visible so you can make this eo visible and also bo visible and ao you can make visible so we have completed all five slant edges okay suppose the base is visible in any case base to be visible apex should be down and base should be tilted up certain cases apex coming on hp on hp that is in this triangular face uh, totally falling on xy line in that case base will be tilted up and that case base will be visible there you will get this base edge visible when base is visible you have to complete the base by visible line in that case any slant edge from inside will be visible from outline part slant edges will be hidden okay so you have completed the projection now uh, axis is o1 o that is coming uh, below this ao so need not show the axis so this completes the top view when the pyramid is resting on its base edge on hp with its axis inclined 50 degree with the hp now let us uh, further tilt it to make the base edge inclined 35 degree with the vp now this view is taken and drawn in such a way that this base edge is making 35 degree with the uh, xy line that is 35 degree with the vp now you can project the points a projection of a and b here you will get b and uh, c projection of c c is on hp and d d is on hp and uh, e e is here and o you can project you got all the points now you need to connect i'll zoom this area so here again you have to connect to all the outline edges by visible line so to check that outline edges you can start from o okay now if you connect to b a is inside a is inside so a is not falling outside so you can directly connect to b suppose a is falling outside then you have to connect to a then a to b okay so here you can directly connect to b this is outline and then c then you can connect to d then so you have completed the outline outline is always visible okay now you look at the solid you are drawing the front view you are looking the solid from here so when you look from here apex is nearer to the observer so always when you draw the front view the observer will be looking from here okay below xy line from the top view side so while seeing from here apex is nearer and base is tilted away you can always check the relative position of this axis o o1 is the axis o is nearer to the observer observer is here o is nearer that means base is away suppose o1 is nearer than o then base is nearer to the observer base will be visible in this case apex is nearer than o1 i am seeing only the axis position apex is nearer than o1 so base is not going to be visible base is away base is tilted away from the observer so base is not going to be visible in the projection so when you draw the projection base is not going to be visible but some of the base edges have already come as part of outline but you need to only complete the remaining base edges by hidden line now i'll complete the remaining edges by hidden line so this 
Now the base edges I have completed. So there was three base edges coming inside. All these are hidden. Two base edges forming as a part of outline which will be visible. Now any point which you get like this, when the uh, inner part of the base, these base edges are hidden, any slant edge originating from here will be hidden and this slant edge also will be hidden and from outline all the slant edges will be visible. So from this interior point you can connect it the apex by O and also connect AO. You can also think like this. A point inside, this is completely inside, this point is completely inside the boundary. Boundary is outline edges. This point is completely inside. When one of the edges uh, connecting to the outline is hidden, all the remaining edges from that hidden point to the outline, any line you take from this hidden point, any line connecting to the outline should be hidden. So when a point is hidden, which is completely inside the outline, from this hidden point, all the lines connecting to the outline should be hidden. Okay. Similarly, this point, which is completely within the outline. Now, from this hidden point, all lines connecting to the outline are hidden. So, from A, any direction you take, from A to O, it's hidden. A to B, it's hidden. A, E, D, this is hidden. So, you can take it as a rule. Any hidden point inside, all the lines connecting to the outline should be hidden. Suppose the base is visible. Base is visible. When you get the base visible, when a base is nearer to the observer, then base will be visible. In that case, all this will be visible and these edges will be visible. Okay. So here base is hidden. So all these edges are hidden. Lines from inner part of the base. I'll call this inside part of the base. There are two edges coming as an outline part of the base. This is inner part of the base, which is falling completely within the outline. So from here, these slant edges are dotted in this example. So then from outline part, whichever slant edges are there, that should be visible. Okay, if from inside, if it's dotted, the from outside, the slant edge should be visible. So you can make a visible line for CEO. CO is visible. So you have completed all the slant edges. Two slant edges from inside, two slant edges have come part of the outline, and another slant edge which you have made. So now you have drawn all the edges, all the base edges, and all the slant edges. Now the only thing is you have to connect the axis. For axis, you have to go for chain line, but the line should be uh, thin. So you can connect to O by chain line. So this completes the uh, uh, projection of solid. I hope you understood how to identify the visible and hidden edge. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.